Hey YouTube, this is Farmall51 here. Alright, I uh, had some uh, pretty much figured out um, on the 140 issue here. Um, well, the speed, trying to figure the speed, if it has a high speed rear end in it. And pretty much, I figured it, it does, and I've talked to a couple of the higher ups, uh, the very knowledgeable uh, uh, IH guys there. Um, some of the old IH guys and they said pretty much uh, they're toward the end they were just whatever um, I don't know it, it to me it seems like they would mark um, the serial plate with the JKK so what I'm gonna do here is uh, I've got some time it's December 23rd uh, getting ready to go up and meet some uh, supper here uh, some of the families coming over and so um, I'm going to go take that out on the road and uh, have my wife follow me. Um, but I'm going to take the tractor out on the road and open her up and see what see what it will do uh, in fourth gear. And it will start off in fourth gear. I've had some people say that they, these tractors will not start off in fourth gear if they have the JKK uh, stamped on it, the high speed rear end. And, and uh, this one will. Um, this one will. Um, but this one over here goes a lot faster than this one so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and crank it up um, I guess we'll do a cold start I guess all right that's how the camera's gonna have to go and I'm um, working on putting the seat belt and stuff on here and I've still got a leaking I've still got the fuel the little strainer there wants to leak for some reason Anyway, um, out of gear. This one here does have the uh, switch button on the, the clutch, but it does not, um, it is not hooked up. And I've got to hook it up, and I need the wire up here. I can figure which one goes where. So, this here is about it says 60 degrees in the shop here, so we'll see. No choke. warming up I'm gonna explain um, I'm gonna let it warm up and then on my phone here um, I have an app a GPS app that'll record the speed and I'll show you a picture of it after um, and I'm only gonna take it just a little bit down the road there and, and back I'm gonna have somebody follow me because I'm not repeating getting hit on the 140 again so but anyway uh, when this gets heated up uh, probably wife probably have the camera and videotape it but other than that uh, we'll see you at the end here and I've got another surprise um, for you also all right
All right, I apologize for the lighting. It's, uh, it's kicking on, and uh, these old lights here take a little while for them to get going. But anyway, it's a follow-up video after the uh, 140, um, 140 down the road, and to actually test and see if it, uh, how fast it actually go. And the GoPro I had on there did not work at the time. But anyway, I do have pictures of the speedometer. Um, my phone was registering about 21 and on the truck it was about you know right at 22 and uh, you can see from the photo I'll put in here uh, now and uh, so actually the the tractor got up to 22 mile an hour so I'd say 21 22 and that falls right in the uh, high-speed rear end for this tractor so um, why it is not uh, marked on the serial plate for it um, I, I do not know um, but I will know, I know one thing it will scoot down the road um, second gear is really fast in this tractor I was actually dissing in second gear you'll see in one of the videos here coming up um, I took the, put, hooked the 122 disc of this tractor and went out and did and it will, it will go for it um, when you let it on the clutch it will really take off um, and versus this tractor here this tractor here is not does not have the high speed rear end and it is not marked on the serial plate for it. So I do know that is not the case with this one, but however, this 79 here, the 66701 um, serial number uh, tractor does in fact have it because um, uh, speed range. And I'll see if I can find statistics for that or the sheet, uh, sheet for that um, where it does go faster or it shows the. the miles per hour um, what it is rated at but high speed for, uh, rear ends in the tractor um, go right 21 22 mile an hour so and that's what this one does so uh, it's kind of nice but then again that's it's really fast uh, but I was told um, by Ken Updike and some others that these tractors um, they're toward the end they were just they had such a high demand for the, the high speed rear ends that they the high speed 140s that they just started putting them in them randomly I guess or um, another thing I heard was they're in the end they were trying to use up and get rid of these tractors as fast as they could and they were um, they just started sticking whatever they could stick in it and they didn't bother it to even mark the serial plates anymore so uh, of course they, I don't know I've there's none that there I don't know if you have any there's not too many I think there's 199 or two, 210 or something like that between these two, 701 and 896. So um, I don't know if they, you know, they just quit doing that by then and they didn't really, you know, waste their time with marking it, you know, special marking on the serial plate for it. But um, anyway, if you have any insight on that, let me know. I've talked to a lot of high up IH people and they, they have no clue either. So, um, um, so it's just one of those things. Um, and a lot of people, I've had a lot of people say, oh, well, the rear end's been changed out or it's been worked on. You can tell that this tractor has not been tampered with, has not been tore apart. This tractor here has never been apart. Um, you can tell that by looking all around the paint and around the transmission. It is the original paint. It has not been. The bolts still have the paint on them. Um, people say, oh, well, you know, well, they could have got the thing apart and you just can't tell. I know for a fact that this tractor has never been apart. Um, in fact, when I the, it still had the original hoses on it, had the, it still got the original fan belt on it, it still had the original valve cover gasket on it. Um, when I let's see, what was it? I don't know. It's just you know, there's certain things you know you can tell when somebody's been into a tractor, and this this one has not been into. The fenders have never been off this tractor. The PTO, the seat has never come off this tractor. Um, it's just, it's never been into, so. Um, and people can argue, you know, all they want. You're like, oh, well, you know, somebody's, no, it's never been into, um, you can tell. So, um, in fact, this tractor here has never been into, um, I can tell that for a fact, so. Um, but anyway, that's it. And uh, if I find anything else about, you know, why this tractor is the way it is, um, I'll let you know, but uh, other than that, it's the it's a fast 140. Um, this one here is not the last 
last known 140. Um, so, but anyway, thanks for watching and uh, talk to you later.